Good Friday evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Hugh Keaton yeah, and I'm Jennifer Lott. Take a look at this mess behind us. A piece of land next to Lozana Elementary School has neighbors and county leaders concerned about the safety of students. Brandy McGill looked into this issue and what action the county is taking. Parents driving up to this school have to look at this and the children are just right across the parking lot from uh, where they have recess and they can see all that. Mountain piles of trash and debris reside next to Lozana Elementary in Harrison County and longtime community members like Barbara Whippy are fed up. Well, obviously there's a four way stop here and no matter which way you're going, uh, you see all this debris, all this trash around and this has been an eyesore for a long time and our community needs this to be cleaned up. According to Harrison County zoning documents, the structures here and the abandoned personal property, rubbish, or other debris on the land are no longer in use. At the September 3rd Board of Supervisors meeting, the county deemed this property along Cable Bridge Road as blighted and gave the owners 30 days to have it clean. The deadline is Monday, and if it's not done, the county will be bulldozing all of this and charging the cost to the owner's taxes. We'd like to see the school or whoever buy this property and clean the whole thing up and, uh, you know, make it something that is attractive. Uh, I, it's so close to the school, I don't know why it can't be part of the school. We tried to ask the school district about the blighted property that's next to the Lozana Elementary Playground. The district spokesperson told us the superintendent didn't want to get involved or comment on the new fence the school staffer told us was just built. Now, just in the last two weeks, I understand that this fence has been put up, so that is certainly an improvement, but still there's all that debris over there, all that um, stuff over there that really needs to be cleaned up. In Harrison County, Brandy McGill, WLOX News Now.